John flew through the air with the greatest of ease until he pulled out Orem and pointed on downwards and fired. With Orem's massive recoil his descent was more manageable for landing. As he landed he was met with three Beowulfs. He quickly draw Argenti and let loose a fleshet of heavy buckshot swiftly killing two of the three Beowulfs. The last one charged at him ready to maul him. John quick swapped with Crimson and bisected the Grim from head to groin and let it fade into dust. John then proceeded to move towards the temple but came across a cave he made a torch and ventured through. He saw cave drawings and surmised that a death stalker was living in the cave. Then he saw a light glimmer then it quickly grew, it was an eye. The death stalker stared at him and charged. John knowing this is an A-class Grimm decided to take care of it before it claims the life on an unsuspecting student. Flashback Raven and John 8 years old Raven, this is your 8th hunt but your first time hunting an A-class. Are you ready? John, yes mother. Raven, it's time for you to use what I taught you. John the jumps down and begins his hunt. Raven, I was surprised at what you can do, but I believe only you can surpass me. Back to the present. John utilized the skills his mother taught him. Crimson, Fire Sword. Azure, Lightning Sword. And using Gunkata. The hard shell of the Grim broke from the armor piercing round Zephora. And the Grim screeched as it dies from the elemental damage in the hole in its eye. After dispatching the Scorpion Jane made his way to the temple. John was the first to arrive and took a took piece. Why you work pretty fast. John turned to see a redhead. Ea, e. John, hey, so you still don't have a partner? Pirat, nope. So you're the first I made eye contact, partners? John, sure I don't have any problems, so what's your name? Pira, you don't know me? John, I lived in the wilds, so no I don't have any info on current events. Pira was relieved. Pira, my name is Pira Nikos. John, just John for now. Pira, no last name? John, it's a surprise for someone. Pira, okay? As she also took a took piece. They were then joined with two more students. Young, wow, you picked up a girl already? Smooth lover boy. They look toward Young and Blake. John, you two are partners? Blake, yes. John, my condolences. Yeah? Hey. Then they were surprised at a sudden jump of an Ursa crashing on a pillar. Nora, ah, it's broken. Blake, did they rode an Ursa? John, I've seen weirder. Pira, hey do you hear something? They all looked up and saw a girl in a hood falling. John enhanced himself with his aura and jumped to catch her. Ruby, 
Jaune. John, just dropping in. They landed and John set her down and Yang rushed at Ruby. Yang, Ruby. What were you thinking? Ruby struggled from the hug. Ruby, Yang? I'm Phoenix. Hey, where's Weiss? John looked up. Weiss was still on the Nevermore. Weiss, how could you leave me? Ruby, I told you to jump. Ren, she's gonna fall. Ruby, she'll be fine. Blake, she's falling. John sighed and saved her the same way with Ruby. Weiss, let me go you hooligan. John just dropped her on her ass. Weiss, he. John, you said drop you. Then they heard a high-pitched scream. They saw the never or charging at them. Ruby tried to rush it but was stopped by a hand on her shoulder. John, be smart. Anyone with long-range attacks and some ice dust? Pira, I have a rifle. Weiss, I have ice dust. John, clip its wings. Anyone have explosives? Nora waved frantically. John, distract it so they can get a clear shot. They followed the plan and assaulted the bird with a barrage. John, who has a strong arm? Young, I'm more than qualified. John, Ruby hold on to my hand and Young throw us. Young spun around to gain momentum and threw them both at the bird. John the used Orem to boost their speed and he threw Ruby towards the Grim. Ruby then added her speed with her semblance then unfurled Crescent Rose. And with the speed of sound decapitated the crippled avian. She then landed in a superhero pose. Then all the students grabbed their pieces and went back to Beacon. Beacon Auditorium. Ashbin and Ruby Rose is the team leader of Team RWBY. Yang Hu get Ruby. Young, way to go, sis. Weiss was irritated. Blake clapped for her leader. Ashbin, now Lyron, Nora Valkyrie, Pira Nikos of Team JNPR lead by John Branlin. Yang's eyes widened like dinner plates. And Ruby's jaw dropped. She looked to her sister and she saw her eyes were red and her fists are shaking. Ruby, the only Bran one I know is Uncle Crow but his sister, Yang's mom. John looks at them but remained calm. In the shadows someone dropped a metal object. Crow, did Sis have another baby when she left? Later, Team JNPR was getting ready to decorate their room until load banging came fro the door. John opened it and look and behold. It was Yang with red eyes. Yang, do you mind if we talk, bro? Everyone present looked on surprised. <laughs> 